Toronto market prices are off the charts, and today we're going to look at the market analysis, what is going on, all records are being broken, and we're also going to look at strategies for 2020, how to beat the market. It's not going to be easy, but it's going to be fun. Okay, Yossi Kaplan here, Toronto Real Estate Agent Mortgage Broker, Research Realty and Search Mortgage, and today we're going to talk about the numbers that came out from the charts for November 2019 and how it's going to go to 2020 and affect us all. So stay tuned, it's going to be a wild ride. So. Uh, USC Kaplan here, Toronto Real Estate Agent Mortgage Broker, Research Realty Search Mortgage, Twitter.com slash USC Kaplan, EuroFeelLuxuryRealEstate.com, <clears throat> UrbanRealtyToronto.com, USC Kaplan.com, all the dot coms. Found this uh, great article. Okay, so I, I don't even know where to start. Um, the numbers came for November of 2019 and it just blew me away. I was looking at these things last night and it's unbelievable. I was really scratching my head like, how could this be and what's going on here and how can I game the game? So I'll, I'll share my findings with you. If you like it, great. I hope it's valuable and please leave your comments, like and subscribe below. Thank you very, very much for everyone who has. It's a great, um, it's a great thank you. It's the best thing you can, you can have from me is just like it or subscribe. Um, November 2018, okay, we had 6,200 sales um, available done in November 2019. 800, you know, 900 more, not bad, 7,000. Uh, the month before, we had something like 8,500 transactions. But remember, November, we're slowing down from summer. Um, the average price, and this is crazy, November 2018 was 787, and now, only a year later, it's 843. Okay, 843, so 843 minus 787. I'm just going to ignore the $56,000 divided by 787. So that's a 7.1% increase uh, in these numbers. Uh, they're broken down further here. Let me see if I can zoom in here. Automatic zoom plus. Okay, that's good. Uh, so we're going to go down here, and you can see year-over-year year summary. And by the way, I'm looking at the market watch for November 2019. It came out yesterday. I'm diving right in here. Uh, you can read the whole thing for yourself, but the, it's just crazy. Let's start with the very important things. I'll show you what happened in the market, and then I have lots of tabs open for you for strategy. So it goes like this. The sales uh, increased by 14%. Uh, new listings dropped by 18%. Active listings dropped by 27%. Average price increased by 71%. That's the calculation I just showed you. And average days of market reduced by 11%. Now, what does that mean? We have... Uh, more sales, but way less new listings, way less active listings, and the price goes up, and they're selling faster. Why is that? Well, that's the scarcity of the market. That shows you scarcity. You know, these numbers have a story, and the story is that when a Toronto unit comes on the market, E will get sold. You know, the chances it'll get sold are way, way better than last year. Why? Because 14% more sales, but also, there's 18% less new listings. That's a fifth, a fifth less new listings. So, if last year we had five listings come on the market, now there's only four. So now, uh, five uh, properties could have been uh, swapping, changing hands. Now, uh, it's, it's musical chairs. Now there's only four left. Somebody's going to left outside. Who? The one who pays the least. That's why you're seeing... And I was myself last week involved in a bidding war with 13's offer. No, we did not get it. We didn't even come close. Uh, it wasn't even a large unit. It was a nice unit. I think it sold for the right price. It wasn't actually over the top. It was a, um, a somewhat older, but in, in really nice condition, a kind of a townhouse situation with the main floor, which had a uh, two bedroom and a kitchen. A very good uh, space. I've been in those places before, just east of Young. And uh, it was about 600 square feet, and it went for 580. So less than a thousand a foot, in very good condition. Just move in. All appliances were, they, they upgraded uh, not the floor, but appliances were really, really nice. Uh, all the mechanicals were fantastic. The, the the condition of everything was perfect. So to me, it was a great deal, even at 580. But one got it, 12 didn't. On the average, uh, four will get out of five. Okay. Um, and you, when you look at the numbers here, I'm going to zoom in a little closer. And this is just blew my mind. Okay. So when you look here, and this tells you the amount of sales and the average. That's the whole story right here. So when you look here, 2019, okay, we had um, a total of 3,200 home sale, 669 semi-detached. That's total Toronto Saga, 905. And townhouse, uh, 11, uh, 1,200. And condos, 1,900. Okay. 
the the total the average of averages of the of the um, the amount is 23% more sales for the detached, 8.8% more for the semi, 19% more for the townhouse. Remember, I always talk to you about townhouses; they're a great investment, and only 1% on the condos. The number of condos sold are more or less the same. Okay, why? Because if you look at the right side here, there's just a lot less listings. Okay, there's there's less listings and less active listings, and most of those things are condos because there's just more of them. So whatever came on the market sold and sold faster for more money. The average price um, for a house is one million in the GTA, one point three six in Toronto. That's the average price of a house in Toronto, one point three six million. And nine oh five, the average is nine forty three. You know, it's going to be higher to square one and lesser as, as farther as you get from the main uh, transportation arteries, like the 401 and the cross ones, the north-south ones. The semi-detached, um, average is 837. You know, average in here, it, it's really it's really local, local base, so 703, and one almost 1.1 million for the semi in Toronto. So if you buy in a semi, you're going to save about a quarter million dollars over at uh, a detached. That's why people buy semis. Um, but you can see that actually there's a lot more detached changing hands than semis. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, there's even double the amount of townhouses. And in Toronto, is, um, in Toronto also that's true. And the townhouses, uh, there's 763 in uh, Toronto. So that's a major, that's half a million dollars less than a house detached. And 634 in a, in a 905. Okay, so 66 average. But... In Toronto itself, 1.3 million for the town for, for the house for the detached, 1.1 for the for the semi, uh, 760-ish for the townhouse, and the condo comes at 660. The average price of a condo in Toronto these days is 660 thousand dollars. That's why if you dig down into this report here, and these are the price brackets on the side, you will see that the condo townhouse it's scoring the most at the 599 category. Exactly it. And then, so these three categories from 500 to 800, or to 500 to 700, 5 to 6, 6 to 7, 7 to 8, okay, those were the most amount of transactions happened in the condos. There's almost no cheap condos here. Uh, there's a few cheaper condos, but most of them sell in like the 600, 600 range, which matches what you see here, where the average here is 660. In, that's your condo, okay? Now, <laughs> the prices are like this. This is... This is even more mind-boggling. I'm skipping the amount of sales, just going to prices. Uh, the detach came out by 5%, which is you know normal for an inflationary economy. 5% is still more than you can amass by yourself, especially if you're on a salary empl employment. It's hard to get 5% more unless you start bouncing jobs or taking other jobs or whatever, but you're gonna have to get at least 5% more every year in your pocket to match the real estate market that's why it's so popular the semi stay flat the townhouse is slightly more but there's a lot of them selling and the condos 10.9 11 percent increase in the price of condos so that means that the price of condo last year was just under 600 this time last year was just under 600 so condos went up by about 60 or 70 thousand dollars on average okay so the condo that you didn't buy last year 500 is now 550 560 the condo you didn't buy for 600, that's about 66, 670. The condo you didn't buy at 1 million is now 1 million 100, 1 million 100 and some thousand. Okay, so it's a significant 11% is a significant, significant increase. Now, the amount of sales of condos have not risen at all just because they just well, because there's less listings. I showed you on the right, there's less listings. So, you understand, we're playing a game of musical chairs in Toronto. There's, there's more players and less chairs, more players and less chairs. And if you look at the comments that, uh, uh, oh, these are the charts. But if you, if you go to the Treb Home, uh, if I have it open here, so go to trebhome.com, and this is where I get my information. It's publicly available. Okay, I'm, I don't make it. I just use the information available already. Hope it loads. Uh, there's some commentary um, by the in-house uh, uh, economist, analyst. Okay, it's not loading. I'm just going to stay on this. But the commentary basically said the same. They said there's immigration into Toronto. So the musical chair game is working the way there's more people playing, but there's then not more chairs. So there's less chairs for the players. So a lot of players stay out, and only the strong players, the rich players, can keep playing the game. And that's our problem. We need to add, and I've been saying it for a long time, 
you know, and, and if you watch my last couple of videos talking about immigration into the cities, and that's a global phenomenon, not only Toronto, but Toronto globally is still cheap, and that's why you're seeing these crazy prices, okay? Now, if, if, if you want to make it easier, look here. The average price in 2018 was 787, exactly what the average price was uh, here in November. That represented the average, and uh, if I, uh, I had the trev loaded, you go to condos.ca and you go to the first page you got to be logged in which i have already uh and then you click on full market reports where's that chart you can see here so you can see that uh november 2018 according to uh, condos.ca stats 1500 sales come at 719 dollar per foot that's their average you do the average but per foot i think you can switch to price somewhere i don't know okay uh here Okay, 719, and if I go to this November, it's 764. So the price went from by by 719 to 664. That's $55 per foot. So according to this one, 55 over 719. That's 7.76, almost 7.7.7 percent. So actually, according to condos, that's because it's measuring condos, it shows you that the average came up by more. So the trend. I think the database is larger, showing 11%. This one showing 7.7%. Nonetheless, you've seen how the, the prices, depending how we measure, uh, but the price is going up. And I think they fixed the stats here. And based on 542 or year over year, uh, no, sorry, the past 14 days, 759, so 760 a foot, 8% increase in the price. So wherever you look at the stats, it gives you 7.7% increase, 8% increase, 11% increase. The market's pushing up. And you can see the gray, which is the number of sales, it's, it, it's indeed lower. It was much, much higher in uh, 15, 16, 17, because then there was a rush of people to buy. You know, it was kind of a, of a what is it called? The black um, tulips. Uh, everyone wants it, everyone wants it, everyone wants it. Uh, and then at some point it stops. But the case of the black tulips, they lost the value here. It's brick and mortar. And it's the only thing that can really save us from bad investments. You know, like if I put my money in the bank, the bank can take my money. There's just, just like it's electronic money. They just lock my account. I'm gone. Uh, in the house, I have a key. Now they can lock you out too, and but it's a bit more complicated and, and legally a much much more complicated to do. Okay, so we have some protection here, and that's so people buy in real estate uh, to protect themselves, to protect their assets, to maintain the assets in the family, and basically, if you have some money today, you can't get anything from the bank. You know. <laughs> What's that one across the street there? I usually have something like uh, the highest rates, 2%. 2 you know? It's like, why would you invest 2% where you can get here without doing anything almost like 7, 8, 10, 11%? So that's what's happening. The other thing is happening, of course, a lot of people buying for the kids. A lot of people coming to Toronto, they're coming from um, smaller towns in Ontario, they come from outside Ontario, and of course they come from outside Canada. That's the major, major influx to Toronto, and they all come to the main towns. Toronto is always number one, always going to be number one. And then you got Vancouver, Ottawa, Montreal, but you know, Ottawa, it's a lot of government jobs and service jobs, so the real estate in Ottawa is also going fast, but not as fast. Vancouver is Pacific, that's a whole, it's a whole other culture and economy. Uh, but what's more, more interesting here is uh, Hamilton, for example, is exploding exploding so now you're looking at Hamilton you look at Brantford Kitchener Guelph Waterloo and that's that's what you're looking at so this thing here represents 780 uh, 787 and this thing here represents 822 now we are already 840 something that means that 2019 is gonna break these records now maybe the average of 2019 will be lower because it started from lower but November has already broken every single record of uh, of Toronto, so you can see here that the the trip housing market charts it had a bit of a drop, and then it's coming up and it's basically beating the previous record. And this time you can see the sales. Um, there's no jump. It's 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 just going up. It just keeps creeping up. Now a lot of us, myself too, um, had hopes that it's going to calm down a bit and allow the people that haven't been able to buy so far to take a deep breath and to get your act together and to start purchasing and investing. But that's not going to happen. So the strategy, and I told you this video is also about strategy, how to, my plan on beating the market in 2020. And the plan is like this. Uh, first of all, I need to arm myself with knowledge. 
Okay, I need to arm myself with knowledge, um, get the knowledge wherever you can. There's no books or courses about any of this stuff. You can watch videos from a guy sitting in the cafe with this annoying background music talking to me about condos. Uh, there's other guys doing that too, which is great. Um, just get the information wherever you can. I mean, I think the best thing to do is just like look at the charts and start analyzing the charts and start working with these charts. There's a lot of information available out there and dive deep into what's going on. And then go to, uh, go to my sites. Okay, and start looking at properties and, and, you know, spend your weekends, drive around and look at properties. A lot of people that invest in Toronto, not immigrants, but from around Ontario, I get a lot of calls and the problem with them is they don't know Toronto. So when I offer, I said, you know, you can, you can have, you can spend a thousand bucks a foot and get parking locker with it, but it's not on the subway line. They don't like it because they don't know Toronto. But the moment I, I say, okay, you can go to the subway line, it's only two blocks away, two blocks away, it's five minute walk. Uh, but then the price from a thousand bucket foot becomes thirteen hundred foot. They go, that's too much, and they get stuck. That's where they stop usually, and then they just cannot fathom because when you come from small town Ontario, for example, or you come from another country or from another place, it doesn't matter, and it's just hard to understand that the city by itself has its own economy that 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 is kind of it's closed. Okay, it doesn't really relate to other economies because when a city has its own economy, it's going to work. There's so many people here. There's something like 8 million people in the metro. So that's its own country. So it can just just do it by itself. So you can get yourself, uh, if you go on the theater here, you know, that's 850 a foot but larger unit. So, you know, a lot of units here in the million dollar range. But if you're looking to live somewhere and get a large unit, that could be a really good consideration for you. Or you can invest in 1,300, 1,400, 1,500 a foot. Um, and did I click this button? There we go. Uh huh. Okay. And you can go on this uh, brand new project, Sky Tower Pinnacle One Young. Uh, and this will come at full price, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen hundred. You know, they're probably going to be selling some units here towards the end of the project, two thousand dollar foot, especially if you're at the top of how many stories they got here? A lot, over seventy. Maybe I read somewhere 95. I'm not sure, but it's huge. It's going to be very, very expensive, okay? Um, so you can really think about um, how to relate to the city, okay? Here's a great example. Forest Hill. Um, still some units available. All the, units, the small units are gone. At 13, 1400 a foot. Right? It's all subway itself, you know? Like you can't beat that, but that's what you're going to pay 30, 40% more. So you got to start thinking to yourself, Am I going for a $1,000 foot unit or am I going for the $1,300, $1,400 foot unit? The other thing is you got to think to yourself, am I going for resale or wholesale? The resale is coming up. You can see it. You know, you can't stop it. <laughs> no real estate agent can stop, but there's a lot of options for resale, lots and lots. And you can look here, and you can look here. Um, okay, I'm going too fast. UrbanRealtyToronto.com, any of these pages, it doesn't matter. And in the footer, when you come down, scroll down, these listings are always updated. So you hit any of these links and it's going to flip you to my other site and show the exact listings. I already pre-prepared all these searches. You start searching by areas, by price, by, by categories, whatever you like. It's very useful. Just start searching. When you start searching and you see something you like, give me a shout, email, call, whatever, send me a pigeon and ask me a question about these condos. Because there's a lot of opportunities everywhere. And, and the idea is to remove yourself from the emotional attachment to what you think about real estate, but start to understand um, how it works and get the help. Get, the, get professional help, whether it's myself or another realtor, it doesn't matter, but talk to people who's, who've done it successfully. There's many ways to do it. Some people always are at the bottom, some people by the middle, some people by the two bedrooms, some people like myself, they're, they're very flexible investors that look for opportunities and value, which I always teach you to do, um, but that's one way to do it. So, you know, I'm going to assess, um, I think I'm not logged in here, but I'm going to assess, doesn't matter, I'm just going to show you from here. I don't know what that is. Uh, let's say I got uh, this unit here, 678, uh, they're asking 678.9 for this one uh, bedroom at Wellington, but just behind here in the complex, just came on the market, and as you hover, it'll show you, it'll pop up 678, so you can see what it is, you can start comparing to other units, and, and you're going to start getting an idea if the price makes sense or you think it's too expensive, okay? Um, the other thing you can do is you can look at reduced uh, units. I don't know if I have a direct link, but it does exist. 
how do I reduce units? I think I should, I should I'll add it here. Um, assignments are a great way to do so. I went to Urban Realty Toronto, go to the bottom, click on the assignment link. There's way, way more assignments than this, way more, but it'll give you, it'll always give you like 60, 70, 80 assignments uh, at any given time to start giving ideas of what's going on. Okay, now you're gonna find a lot of discrepancies on assignments, and I made a video recently how to save sixty thousand dollars on uh, uh, right there, how to how to save sixty thousand dollars. And one of the tricks that I do is I look at assignments and I find in the same building two assignments. Hold on, <laughs> I don't know if you can hear, but uh, uh, I go and look for two assignments that are basically in the same uh, building or the same area and I compare them, one of them will be a lot less than the other and I can start playing them against each other. Um, another video that I did that explains the mindset is called How to Invest Like the Rich. In this video, I explain how the rich look for value, but they don't look for price necessarily. So they may pay a lot of money, um, but to them, it's always a good deal. They look for a deal that makes sense. And the reason the rich are rich is because they use a certain logic that does work. Now, if it didn't work, they would not amass the funds. If it does work, it does work for them. They do it over and over again. Obviously, you know, everyone fails once in a while. Everyone has to learn. That's okay. That's part of life. Uh, but, the, you know, um, Warren Buffett still eats McDonald's uh, cheeseburger every day for lunch. He, 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 that's not the point. The point is it's the thinking of value. You know, in this case, he's a contrarian, of course, very famous for going against the, the grain. Long, short, short, long, all these things. Um, another thing to, I want you to do is to start really researching the top uh, units available. I review quite a few of them in high, high detail. Like I give you exact analysis, and this is this is the level of detail that you need you need to look. But the most important thing, the most important thing I need you to know, is when you look at investments, is leave what you know from home at home. Okay, I I, I have to tell you that probably like half if not more than half of the people that call me they get stuck and they get stuck on things that are emotional they're not necessarily works the best for the investment but they just they just can't fathom them they they, they, they can't do it there's, there's a lot of emotional blocks and and it's funny because it's business but business is really playing the mind against the emotion how do i feel about this how do i feel about investing in this condo and how, how, how do I feel about uh, buying this side of town? A lot of people do a lot of judging, you know, oh, I don't like this side of town, I don't like that side of town. Well, you know, the, that's totally okay, but because a lot of people, like, you know, they think of cities, I need to be by school, or one, because it's close to the students. The other one says, I don't want to be by the school because there's too many students. <laughs> so who, who is right, right? It, it doesn't matter. The matters is the one who is right or the one who can extract the most amount of value. Okay, so values, of course, it's the numbers, but it's also how easy it was, how much stress, how much time I need to spend on it, all these things. Okay, twitter.com slash Yossi Kaplan, everything being funneled here. So when any anything comes in any of my media channels, it'll go here. So follow here if you have Twitter, it's an e easy way to find out. Europe Real Luxury Real Estate, that's my over a million site. So you get a lot of over a million stuff here and kind of a lot of good information about that. YossiKaplan.com is a new site I started about a year ago and it's got a lot of deep investment analysis <clears throat> and uh, long form articles that showing you so you know showing you stuff about investing uh, kind of going through detail about how to invest things to look at invest to look at invest. for example if you look here <clears throat> or secrets on investing and let's go to details about investing so I highly recommend even just skim through it you know um, just give it a read, make some make some good points, watch the videos, they all work work together. The video and the text, they all work together. Uh, some of them are, are more easy, kind of beginners, some of them more advanced, but they're all good. There's always something to learn, I'm, I'm happy to share. Toronto, uh, UrbanRealtyToronto.com is my main website for all these years. I'm very happy, and at the bottom here, this is where you'll find another thing is it's called listing alerts, another special listing. And if, you, if you're curious about one area in specific, just hit the desire. This is automated. I don't do it. Just hit it, and the system will start sending you listing alerts. You're going to get listing alerts in your email every day. That's going to help you to understand what comes in the market and at what price. In, in addition to the market alerts, the um, best thing to do is also to just browse the map. I think when you browse the map, it can really give you an idea of what's going on. Um, and, you can, and, and this is how you browse the map. Uh, EOC.searchrealty.co or Urban Realty to Toronto. 
Kingwest.com and in any of these links at the bottom. Okay, like you want to see what's going on at King West, just hit King West. It's already pre-programmed, so you can just like just look at it. Um, if you dive deeper, the system will ask you to register. It's free. It's all good. So in this case, I actually saved a map. I did it for every neighborhood, but I I kind of cut a map, a map. Now this is my King West. It's it's a very tight King West here. Uh, the condos.ca King West goes all the way west. To me, it's it's already West King West, uh, and this will be, for example, this is the Kingly Fashion House. And you can, you, you know, 529 for one bedroom. Now, it's, a, it's in the low flow, probably doesn't have any view, but still it's a reasonable price. You know, if you can get a one bedroom King West for five and a quarter, that's not bad. Here's a one bedroom at Camden, just over there. Uh, 42 Camden, I think Harhe built this one. So it's right by Spadana, great location, nice, cute little uh, uh, boutique building, 499. So there's, there's a lot of good value. Uh, 650 King, I think I tweeted that one. I uh, just posted that uh, yesterday. Uh, 903 with parking and locker, 650. So a little bit more expensive, but you get a King Street address. This is actually right above here, uh, where I sit right now. Okay, Takamsi at the corner of, uh, of uh, uh, King, and King and Bathurst. So it'll be this one here. Okay, that's a Minto development, uh, 569.9. So you can see how the prices are creeping now over the 500 mark for the one bedroom into the 550 range. And then, of course, you know, the, the, the sky is the limit from there. But uh, you see what I mean. I'm looking to the housing and show you a few more things, okay? So uh, this is the housing chart. Just came out. Go to, came out, go to the Treb home. Uh, go to the uh, look at the chart. You get this uh, PDF. So you can see here 2019 is the orange. And... We're just going to focus on the origin compare. So 2016 was a record year for number of sales. Number of sales. Okay? Everyone, it's, like, it's like the tulip. Everyone's rushing, rushing. I want to buy ta 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 Now, we have a lot less sales now because there's less on the market, less product on the market. But also, and here, um, even less sales. New listings. A lot less new listings. Just no inventory. That's why I was in a 13... Uh, offer bidding war last week so 2016 was off the charts but if you if you kind of look at you can see 17 18 19 17 18 19 like it okay so November 2019 sales to new listing ratios is the best month so a lot of the a lot of the condos or houses properties are put on the market are being bought a lot it's, it's very very important because that means it's a healthy market that means that these units come in at the right price. Now, remember that half of these units on the MLS, something like that, they put on the price is too high, they remove them, and then they put them back um, and then at a lower price, and then they sell, and that's what you see. So this does not include terminated listings. If you saw the terminated listing, the sales to new listing ratio would be completely off, okay? It'll be like half of that. So these are sales to new listings. Um, I'm actually not sure. Like Maybe if, if they listed the unit twice, how many times they count it? I'm not sure. But nonetheless, it's a good uh, it's a good measuring point, uh, and this is this is of course the the glory of all the the resale home price, and you can see that 2019 is basically beating beating 20 uh, the year before, and it has not beat 2017. But here in June, so 2017 kind of peaked in March April, and then in June it kind of calmed down, and we've been beating the market and the world record in June in July, in August, in September, in October. And actually, July, August, September, October, look very, even November, look very, very stable. And I fully expect this, that December will beat it even more, something like around here. Now, the amount of sales for November, uh, December is always lower. The amount of, uh, so you can expect a little less. So the next 60 days, December, January, are very, very important. Even maybe a little bit into February, but there's lot, not a lot of listings. So people just like, why would I list it in the in the spring when, you know, like look, the jump in the spring is always high. So it makes sense for people to wait. You, they'll find less listing. But those who list uh, this time of year, they just want to get rid of it. So they'll give you a discount. So if you're buying and you want to buy a resale, the next couple of months are very, very good. I'm in town. Uh, so if you want to make some deals, call me. I'm definitely in town uh, this winter. Maybe I'll pop out for like a bit, but I'm usually here. I plan to be here. I'm having too much a good time to just do anything else. Um, 
the trend, uh, this is monthly time series. So this number of sales, you drop in here, but there's like, like every January there's a drop. That's your chance to jump in. That's your chance to jump in, but also the number of listings is, is going down. So it's not that easy, but part of your strategy would be now for the resale go now. Overall, you can see that 2019 and 2020 is gonna beat any, any measure any measure whatsoever so this is average of averages of course but it just tells you what's going on now if you split the, the 416 it'll be way higher the 905 will be more calm but the 416 will just go off the charts so this is bringing it down because of the 905 okay and it just it just goes on and on but but you get you get what i mean right um 787 was the record for that was the um the average for 2018 and we're gonna beat 2017 I think we're gonna have the best year on record um, if you're in the market my friends you gotta get in now okay um, I told you how to do it on the cheap just Google or DuckDuckGo you'll see Kaplan real estate there's a lot of stuff there's a lot of stuff available okay I put for you tons and tons of videos and information and thing, just give me a call come meet with me sit at the cafe great Americano and it's, it's all good but I do want you, um, you know, the condo calculator, that's a great tool. <clears throat> you can download for free. Just go to condocalculator.com, uh, dot .ca. I think that's the video for it. And I'm not logged in here. But here's the condo calculator. That, this thing will, 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 will it's a it's a simple spreadsheet you can download to your computer so it's completely private you're not using anyone sir i don't even know what numbers you put in there because the file is on your computer it's just a download it's a free download put your name your email and download this file and once you download the file you'll get the you get access to this uh right here you get access to this uh, spreadsheet and then you can start calculating how much this condo will run you every month and it's going to estimate the condo fees, the maintenance, the, the taxes, how much rent you need to break even, how much rent per room. So if you have two bedroom or three bedroom, or four or five, you know, you can calculate how much rent you need to get from, from each room in order to break even or do better. It'll calculate the deposits for you, all these things. So it's, it's a great tool. Okay. So the strategy, I'm just going to um, wrap it up here. I'm going to tell you that the market is off the charts and because it's off the you really need to be very very smart about everything you do and you need to arm yourselves arm yourselves with information and knowledge for the market and the most important thing is you have to take action and the way to take action is come here hit these uh, links and start re researching the market if you can enter the resale it's obviously much much cheaper than the construction but if you if you're looking for pre-construction go to uh, torontoconsforsale.com I put it go to this website here torontoconsforsale.com it'll give you a great idea of what's available uh, there's tons of features here it also got a full listings menu by the way so you can research the MLS market and the pre-construction here and everything on the development so it's an amazing site that I just put up I'm very very happy with it you can you can run all these kind of searches it's got listing alerts out everything Okay. Uh, if 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 you want to sell, or you know, if you have an older property and it's time to upgrade, or maybe you need some money out, or you want to flip it, uh, you start here. Let's see what happens. That's pretty cool. So yeah, it finds the house for you. It's a condo. Detached condo, high rise. Yeah. It's American slang, but it's a Canadian company. I'll call about that, but uh, okay. <laughs> Screen capture. Okay, um, so you can see here, and you're going to put in our bedroom, bathroom, and send it to me, and I'll just call you back and give you a free assessment and talk about your needs, okay? So that's it, my friends. Uh, get ready. Jump in. you got to take action. There's so much information out there. Uh, just make sure you're doing act. Act now. It's not going to stop.
you know, look at the global picture. Canada is the future. We are the future, but the future costs money. So don't be afraid. Jump in. Thank you. That's it.